Hey guys, so today I'm sharing with you my makeup collection and my makeup storage. I don't get ready in this area because this is not my vanity table. I'm still looking for a vanity table but for now this is where I store my makeup collection. So just to give you an overview, this is what it looks like on the top. And then there are seven drawers in this drawer set. As you can see, this is still a new drawer set for me because you can still see the plastic covering the drawer handles. If you guys are curious, I got this from the SM store for 12,000 pesos. And then the mirror on top of this, I got it customized and it cost 3,000 pesos. I have very shaky hands and I do apologize if this footage comes out very shaky because I'm currently holding my phone. So on this left side, I just have some travel tokens that I got last year when I went to America. So I have the Statue of Liberty, an NYC, an NYC board that I got from the Empire State Building, and then a miniature cable car I got from San Francisco. And then these are just notebooks, and then these are three flower pots that I got from Wilcom. I'm so sorry if you are bothered by the plastic covering the door the drawer handles. I just can't be bothered right now to remove them because to do so I have to unscrew the door handles before I can totally remove the plastic. So for now, I just have to deal with this. I'm not going to show you guys these two drawers because they contain underclothes. What I'm going to show you are the ones that only contain skincare, hair care, and makeup. So the five drawers, the four at the bottom and this one at the left, top left corner. This drawer contains random stuff. At the back, I just have an Estee Lauder. Oops, I have a lot of swatches because I just did a makeup haul video. Here at the back, I just have an Estee Lauder uh, makeup remover. Then I have a Clinique anti-blemish skincare. And then I have a miniature Clinique um, skincare as well, another Clinique one. And then in here, I have extra plastic trays for when I do get my vanity table in the future, hopefully. And then these are just cotton pads and cotton uh, makeup sponges. Then these are nose strips, cotton pads, and then my micellar water and the empties that I want to do a video soon. Then bio oil. Oh, this is an extra lint remover. Hydrocortisone cream when I have skin problems. I have this derma scar gel which I also included in my haul. L'Oreal. Mm, makeup remover, sunscreen, and this is a makeup sponge as well. I got from Miniso. So that is it for this drawer. And then this drawer contains all of my hair tools as well as my hair care. Um, it looks super messy. I just don't know how to store all of these wires in a very organized manner so for now I have to make do with this setup so I have my babyless hair blower I have my suave um, hairspray as well as my mix my texturizing mousse my curling wand curling iron and straighteners and a glove for when I use this um, curling wand so that's that drawer then beside that I have mostly my perfumes and my nail polishes in this corner I have an acrylic organizer and it contains my earrings my ponytails and my chokers I don't have a lot of accessories because I rarely wear accessories by the way I got this one from the SM store as well as these plastic plastic trays so here i just store all of my floral ponytails then i have all of my nail polishes i went through a phase where i collected so many nail polishes but i'm just so i'm just over nail polishes i don't even wear them anymore but for now i keep them here i might give them all away to my cousins but 
for now, I just keep them here. And beside that, I have my perfumes. I plan on doing a video specifically for perfumes. And I might do a declutter one. I might do that right after this video. I don't know, but yeah, I will do that soon. But the perfumes that I have are um, Dolce & Gabbana, Chloe, Dolce, um, Versace, Oscar de la Renta, Burberry, Marc Jacobs, Marc Jacobs, which I love. And then this is, I think, Salvatore Ferragano, then La Host, and then Lancome, and then these are just Victoria's Secret. Then this box holds my accessory holder that I plan on displaying once I get my vanity table. So that is it for this drawer. Then the drawer beneath that contains my base makeup. So these are all of my base makeup. Um, these drawers I got from the SM store as well. I hauled this recently. And I got I got this because they're they look like the Moji drawers but they but they are much cheaper. I only got it for 60 pesos. While the Moji one costs around 150 pesos. I like this ones as well because as you can see they perfectly fit this drawer. So in this tray I have all of my primers. So I have this L'Oreal Base Magic um, Transforming Smoothing Primer. I like this primer. I just don't like the fact that it comes in a jar packaging. But this is a good um, silicone primer. And then this is the L'Oreal True Match Micro Blur Primer. Then this is my Max Factor Face Finity Primer, which is a part of my project pan. Then another part of my project pan is this Elf Mineral Infused Face Primer. Then these are all of my foundations that are currently open. Um, I have my go-tos are this L'Oreal True Match foundation but once I ran out of this I plan on trying out the True Match Stay Matte Pri uh, foundation. Then I have True Match in the old packaging a Garnier BB Cream which I think has been reformulated already. So then this is the CoverGirl Stay Luminous Max Factor Skin Luminizer. Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless uh, Foundation, which is a partner of this one. Then I have my Lumi, so much Lumi. So that's it for my foundation. Then here I have all of my concealers. And then here are all of my color correctors. Then in this last uh, tray, I have my um, what is this? Um, eyeshadow primer, then my facial spray. And then moving on to the powders, in here I have my um, highlighters. So I have the Balms Luminizer Sisters, which I love, and I do plan on getting the regular size as well as the newest shade which is the Bonnie Luminizer then this is the Becca Champagne Pop this is my first ever um, high-end purchase then this is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter this is the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter and then this is the Essence So Glow Cream to Powder Highlighter so these are all of my highlighters then these are all of my blushes. So I have this BYS blusher in Perfectly Peachy, which looks like a bronzer. Then I have this Rimmel uh, Kate Moss um, palette. Then I have the cult favorite Milani Luminoso. Then I have this Berry Shimmer from Wet n Wild. They, this has been continued already and I rarely use this because this is so pigmented. 
it's hard to use because it's super pigmented. Then these are all of my bronzers. I have this L'Oreal True Match bronzer uh, foundation in C7, which I use for a liquid bronzer. The L'Oreal True Match foundation in C7 for pound for powder contour. I have the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in Sunlight and in Sun Bronze. Then this is the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster. It's like this. It's a bit. It's too light for my skin tone, but I like it to contour my nose. As well as this one. This is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer. Then here in this corner, I have all of my face powders. So I have this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, my Revlon Color Stay, uh, Air Spun, and my L'Oreal True Match Powder. So this is that drawer. And so this is the last drawer and this contains the rest of my makeup that is not my base makeup. So I think we should start here and then go from there. So if you notice, I have a different um, plastic trays compared to the, to the other drawer. But I, I also got this from the SM store and what I like about this one is that I can stack them on top of each other to save space. So in here, I have all of my L'Oreal Colorish lipsticks in different finishes. I have a lot of L'Oreal Colorish lipsticks because they're definitely the first uh, makeup purchases that I got. The lipstick called Pure Garnet is the first lipstick, the first makeup product that I ever bought and it is this shade. And this was such a cult favorite here in the Philippines before. And it looks like this. No wonder why this is, this is such a famous shade because it's super, super rich in color. And yeah, I remember going to the mall and then my sister asking me to get this one because um, all of the brand L'Oreal branches that she went were out of stock with this one. So she asked me if I can try it out. So she asked me if I can get this one in the... L'Oreal kiosk that was near me so I bought one and then I was intrigued as to why this lipstick was going out of stock very very quickly so I also bought mine and this lipstick started this lipstick then it started with this one and then and then suddenly I have a makeup collection that I want to show you guys so yes this lipstick that is definitely my first ever makeup purchases and then at the back of my l'oreal lipsticks i have my wet and wild color icon lipsticks then these are all of my lip liners i don't wear lip liners a lot and then this ones are all of my liquid lips uh my lip glosses and i store them at the bottom because I, I don't wear uh, lip glosses because I have oily skin and I find that if I wear lip gloss, it just exacerbates my oiliness. Then in this corner, I have all of my liquid lipsticks, which is mostly Colourpop. And, but my favorite liquid lipstick formula that I have tried so far is this Kat Von D um, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. And this is... And I bought this one from Sephora when I went to Vegas. And then I have some mini lips, liquid lipsticks. So yes, I store them in this acrylic storage as well. And then if I tilt back my camera here. So this corner contains all of my backups as well as makeup that I haven't opened yet. So I have this Maybelline foundation which I also hauled earlier and this one this Rimmel primer Nichido uh, Anastasia Deep Brow um, this um, a Megalust color uh, and then as well as this Wet n Wild Megalust lipsticks because my friend when she went to the States she bought me some and some of the colors I already have duplicates of, that's why I keep them here. Then I have an Estee Lauder Lush 
um, primer. I also have an Estee Lauder mini mascara. Then this one is a matte, uh, matte mousse foundation from Maybelline, which I hate. I got this for a buy one get one promo. I already threw the the one that I opened, and I'm only keeping this just for a reference and for a video that I want to do later on. So these are all of my pop-ups. Then in here I have all of my brow stuff. I have my e.l.f. eyebrow kit which is also a part of my project pan. My favorite um, Anastasia dip brow. This is in the shade chocolate. Uh, my Milani Stay, Stay Put brow color. I think that's what they're called. This is in the shade medium and brunette. Then I have some Catrice uh, eyebrow pencil as well as Etsude House which I like. A Maybelline brow gel, Nichido Essence. This was a clear brow gel before but it's no longer a clear one. And an eyebrow, a Jordana eyebrow gel, uh, Nichido. And that is it. And here in this tray, I just have my tools. I have my essay loader, packet mirror, my um, mini travel uh, brush, curling eye, uh, lash curler, scissors, and eyebrow razor. Then in here, I have this very out of place green mini green tin. And this is so out of place because it's super bright green while the rest are clear organizers. But for now, it works for me. So I store in here all of my... Oh, this is any Chido brow pencil. It should be here. Um, no, I store in here all of my eyes. All of my eye makeup. So this is an Essence liquid liner, which I like. My next shadow pencil. NYX uh, Wonder Pencil, Revlon Eyeliner, L'Oreal Eyeliner, and Tony Moly. Yeah. Then in here, I store all of my mascaras. The one I'm currently using is this Lash Sensational Waterproof, and I don't like it. And then this is an Estee Lauder um, eyeshadow quad. See if I can open it. Yes, and it looks like this. I don't wear this often because these are all shimmer shades. Yeah. Then, I'm not sure if you can see, but at the back I have my ColourPop Super Shock um, eyeshadows. I do like this color pop super shock shadows but um they dry out super quickly but I do like how I do like how they perform on my lids but this is not that dry um this is in the shade bandit this is the swatch right there and then this is um, K-pop Crenshaw, which is unfortunately already dry. It's cracking here because it's super dry. I do like I do like ColourPop Super Shock shadows, but again, they just dry out very quickly. As you can see, I don't get a lot of color payoff anymore because it's dry AF. But this one. This one is a glittery, this one is a shimmery um, shadow. It is the On The Rocks Super Shock Shadow. And I do like this. It's like that. Can you see? Can you see the shimmery, sh the glitters in here? Just looks so good. And then I, all, I have one Maybelline color tattoo here and this is in the shade creamy beige 
and it does not look creamy beige. It looks more of a mauve taupey shade. So see, it's not, it's definitely not beige. Then in here, I just have random lipsticks that does not fit here in this corner. So I have mostly Rimmel. I do like Rimmel Kate Moss lip lipsticks. And then this is an Ulta one which I got as a gift. Then a Clinique um, Pop, Clinique Pop lipstick. So this one just contains my ball pens and markers and and etc. Because I do like listing um, the products, the makeup products that I do want to get in the future. So every time there's a new product coming in and I want to get my hands on them, then I write them on my notebook on top of this drawer unit then just stick them off once I get my hands on them. So lastly I have all of my eyeshadow palettes which I do love collecting and I do plan on getting more eyeshadow palettes but for now this is my current collection. So here I have this BH Cosmetics Illuminate by Ashley Teasdale. I did get this on sale and on a buy one get one promo. I I gave the other one to my sister and it looks like this. Oh, by the way, this is the Beach Goddess because there's because there's three Illuminate palettes and the one that I got is the Beach Goddess. And it looks like this. I've used this quite a lot. The bronzer, then the highlighter, and the blush. I do like the blush. The blush is a bit too light and shimmery for my liking, but when I apply it on my cheeks, I do like how my makeup turns out every time I wear it, then you get a lot of neutral eyeshadow shades in here. I do like this one and it's pretty compact. Then next I have my two Zoeva palettes. I love my Zoeva palettes and I plan on getting more of them in the future. But the ones I currently have is the Zoe uh, Coco Blend palette. And it looks like this. I think this is the most famous Zoeva palette because you can do a decent uh, all matte shadow look with this one. You can, if you also have some pops of color, then this, sh then this section right here, you can do a smoky eye look. Then the other Zoeva palette that I have is this uh, rose golden palette, and it looks like this. There are most of these are shimmer shadows except for these three matte shades. Then I have my two uh, Urban Decay Naked palettes. So this is the first one, and this is my favorite, and it looks like this. It's full of neutral and brown shades, and with some darker shades here that you can use to smoke up your look. And this is a special palette for me because I use this for my graduation. So this is my Naked 3 palette. I got this from my sister. She gave this to me because she didn't like it. And honestly, I, I'm i not crazy for this palette because um, it's just too light. I, it's too light that I think it, I, that every time I wear it, I, I think my eyeshadows washes me out. So yes, but for now, I keep this here because I do love some shades here like this one this is streak and block heart then i have then i have the original carly bible palette i also ordered the deluxe one as well as the ray ray palette but it hasn't arrived yet so for now i am using this one and this is also a part of my project pan and yes, I will update you guys soon about my about the status of the, of the makeup that I am planning this year. But this is the original Carly Bible palette. Another BH Cosmetics palette is this one. This is Studio Pro Universal palette. Um, I got this the same time as this one, and I also got this in a buy one get one promo. In fact, I have the other one here. And I don't know what to do with uh, with this extra one. I might sell it or give it away sometime. But for now, it but for now it's just sitting here in my storage. 
So this is full of shimmer shadows and I reach for this when I am looking for a shimmer shadow that's not currently in my collection. Then this is my Morphe 35 and this is my Morphe 35 F palette. I used this quite a lot before when I first started wearing eyeshadows because as you can see there are so many colors here that I would practice on but now I rarely use it but I like it but I just don't like the ingredient list in the Morphe palettes but I do plan getting the Jaclyn Hill palette because it does not contain parabens then here and then the last two palettes I have is the Sephora bag palette and this was actually a gift to me by my brother-in-law I nearly threw this away because when he gave it to me, I wasn't wearing makeup before. Like, I wasn't totally into makeup before. And, but I decided to keep this one because, again, it was a gift. So, it looks like this. You get a nice, huge mirror here, then a lot of colors, and blushes, and lip, a lip palette. Then lastly, I have this Colourpop I Think I Love You shadow palette and I haven't even used this one yet but it looks like this and it's so pretty and I plan on getting all of the Colourpop palettes except for the element of surprise because I don't like the ingredients on that but the rest I will definitely get them. drawers are already stained because of that lipstick gosh but anyway that is it guys so just an overview again that's my makeup storage so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video then please give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys on my next video bye the way of palettes and I do plan on getting more of them when oh my god <laughs>